They'll start this drive at midfield. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Bernard picks up about five yards on that hookup. From the 47-yard line, second down. Receivers got the first down. They'll bring him down at the 38. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Dickerson set to go to the air. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Takes it right. Oh, what a hit. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. Dickerson drops back to pass. And he's immediately tackled. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They put everyone up on the line. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. Pound for pound, this is a very solid offensive line. They know that if they do their job, they'll make enough room for short conversions. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Bernard gains six yards with a short completion. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. get the two an eight play 52 yard drive and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion you know brad a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground but this time they went the entire length of the field the ball never touched the ground great execution by the quarterback and the receiver so our score 24 19 He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. I think it's pretty obvious they've got to keep the ball on the ground here. Take as much time off the clock as possible. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Really good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. tackled for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. 
but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Madison drops to throw. They bring him down. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Great job by the defense tonight. Getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. You know, overall, I just see a great team effort. They have been relentless as a group in putting their pressure on the opposing quarterback. Here's another important series as they look to keep them off the board and maintain their slim margin. The offense will start at the 48. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Here's a throw and it's almost picked. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Just under two minutes in the game. Dickerson drops back to pass. Got it. Touchdown. And now they're in front. And for Bernard, he's got 100 yards now. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. So they'll go for two here and try to go up by a field goal. Just under two to go in the game. They don't get it. A quick two-play, 52-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. So our score, 25-24. Schuler has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's taken down at the 30. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, there's not a whole lot of time left on the clock, so if the offense can get the ball down the field and score, even a field goal, it'll be pretty hard for your opponent to come back. Madison looking to throw on first down. Short over the middle. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Tipped away. The quarterback there got lucky that the ball wasn't picked off. Sometimes those passes are deflected at the line. They float end over end right into the hands of a linebacker. Madison steps back to pass. And they got some pressure on him that time. Yeah, and what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. Armstrong gets it on the inside. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Now this offense has to find a way to stay out of these third and long situations. It's nearly impossible to convert. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. A little over a minute in the game. Way to look it in. That play was so close to being stopped short. They really just eked that one out by inches. He's looking to pass, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. A yard if they're lucky on that pass play. Well, this kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches into big games. They keep it on the ground, and a great tackle right there. Even the most conservative offensive team needs to open it up in a situation like this. They need to start putting the ball in the air. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. That makes, that makes it worse than 10.
We've got a first and ten. This is the tenth play of this drive. Under a minute left in the game. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Under a minute left. Madison drops to throw. He launches one for the end zone. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. The defense calls a timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He kneels it down again. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, the Hornets 25, the Golden Tigers 24. And for Dickerson, he wins player of the game honors. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 12.